let's do it. Shalom, shalom to the Lord's elect. Our praises, honor, and glory goes to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wa Baha, Racha Kodash. Double honor to the elder apostles of the Great Millstone, GMS, who rule and teach Yasha Allah well through the Spirit, leading the flock by example. Citations and honors goes out to the brothers pushing this gospel, this good news, the world over in sincerity and in truth. Adawan Ratiza, which means Lord willing, you know, so Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And, uh, you know, what you just saw, you know, in the clip is a, a performance by Elder Rakar, you know, the GOCC, is the right group, all right? And them commem commemorating, you know, their Passover, all right? And we know in the scriptures that the Passover, all right, is a solemn assembly, all right, a serious assembly, all right? Today being Sunday, March 24th, Right, the hopeful year of Jacob's trouble, Jacob's trouble. All right, coined and deemed by Elder Apostle Taha. Okay, and you know you got guys, you know, within the group of GLCC, all right, who have made a joke out of Yahushai's Passover, a concert. Okay. The events leading up to our Messiah's crucifixion was serious. All right. The tension was at an all-time high. All right, it wasn't a party spirit going on. Right, no fun and games, no singing, no dancing, no spitting lyrics, no, no clapping hands. Okay, none of that took place whatsoever. Okay, two thousand years ago, under the Edomite rulership of King Herod in Judea and Jerusalem, all right, Southern Kingdom, right, which consists of Judah, Levi, and Benjamin, all right, we're in captivity just like now, now today. Okay, all right, we know the whole nation of Israel, right, so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native American, you know. The Seminole Indians, West Indians and Nations, all right, are yet they stay in captivity, all right? You know, as it states in, in the Apocrypha within the book of Baruch, chapter 3, verse 8, all right? And honestly, I don't understand what these clowns in GLCC are, are celebrating, honestly, all right? <laughs> Being all mirthful, all right? As if you're in Zion already, that we're in the kingdom. And if you see some of the comments, look at that, I'm so hyped. Feeling blessed to witness this. Okay. Having, you know, it's like they're not considering the seriousness of this. Look at this one. Thanks for sharing, Elder. I was wondering where this video went. All praises to our Almighty Father, Ahaya. That's not the name of the Heavenly Father's name. All right. That's not the name of the Heavenly Father. It's Yahweh in the ancient Hebrew, which means he is or he exists. All right. Look at this. I love this. Our Elder is so cool and talented. Right. Just praises. Just empty praises. Okay. Elder was lit. Look at that. Okay, Elder Usher Rakar. The more into the performance than they are giving reverence to the only begotten Son of the Heavenly Father. You see? The Passover in ancient Egypt, man, that was serious. Screams were, were heard. All throughout. All throughout the land, man. Utter darkness consumed the land. Terror was brought. Right, as the death angel, who was Yahweh Shai, passed over. All right, the ancient Egyptians, Egyptians, you know, being judged horrifically, man. The angel of death passed over the Israelites, all right, to bring punishment to the Egyptians. So we're supposed to commemorate Yahushua's Passover, all right? Did he have a concert type Passover? No. They weren't in this spirit. We're not in the kingdom yet, man. All right, and no heathens. All right, should be at the Passover whatsoever, by the way. Okay. And Yahushua was sacrificed for the elect lambs of the nation of Israel, man. Okay. Now, ultimately, he died for the whole nation. You know, 
the whole nation of Israel, all 12 tribes of Israel, but beginning with the elect first. Okay, and we're praying and hoping that the judgment that comes to Babylon, the great America, right? And, and that's coming to this whole world, all right, passes over us, okay? And we're not in that partying up and making music and, and clubbing and things like that. That's not what our mentality is about, okay? We're in that solemn mindset, okay? You know, things are getting more and more evil all the time. That's the times we're in, okay? You know, those are the... Uh, you know... But yeah, those are, those are the times when these are the things are getting, you know, more and more darker. Wickedness is increasing upon the land. Okay. The nobility of E, right, is going to declare martial law. Those are the evil days that we're heading into. You see? So we're supposed to be in an upright, you know, conversation. Okay. Ephesians chapter 4. Book of Ephesians chapter 4. Verse 22. Start verse 1. Sorry, verse 21. If so be that you have heard him and have been taught by him as the truth is in Yahweh Shai, that you put off concerning the former conversation, right, going into, you know, your manner of conduct, you know, our, our behaviours, all right, the way we manoeuvre, the way we operate, okay, that you put off the the concerning the former conversation, the old man, which is corrupt according to deceitful lust, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man, which after Yahweh is created in righteousness and true holiness. You see? You know, and, <laughs> you know, being in this wicked flesh, man, and being shaped by this wicked world, all right? You know, we, we've been brought up to basically... Uphold and, and glorify wickedness. <clears throat> okay. You know, we've, <laughs> you know, celebrated folly days, followed after the heathens. Okay. Basically fulfilling the, the lust of the flesh, man. Okay. You know, I'm coming to this truth, man. We, you know, you're supposed to shed that old man, repenting. Okay. Put off that old us. Okay. And be renewed in the mind, man. Okay. Be born again. Be a new creature in Yahweh HaMashiach. Okay, especially when we, you know, heard this truth and come across this truth. Okay, and we know it's a it's a continuous, you know, process, right? And of course, you're not going to immediately <clears throat> change overnight. We know that. We've got to be realistic. Okay. You know, bit by bit, we, you know, we shed that old individual. Okay. So, you know, we're in, we're in a heavy time. Let's go to the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 5. In verse 7, it says, Purge out therefore the old leaven, okay? And leaven representing sin, you know, from a spiritual standpoint, okay? It says that you may be a new lump as you are unleavened, for even Hamashiach, our Passover, is sacrificed for us. Okay, so we're in the spirit of you know, removing from ourselves, you know, you know, wickedness, bad habits, the old man examining ourselves, right? Things that you need to remove from your life, you know, from our lives, okay? Verse 8, therefore, let us keep the feast, okay? You know, what, what what's, what's the feast? All right, the feast of unleavened bread, okay? <clears throat> therefore, let us keep the feast, not with old leaven, Neither with, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and, and truth. Okay? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh, sacrificed His only begotten Son. So just meditate upon that. Okay? Having to endure persecution, going up on, the, on that Roman wood. Okay? You know, He carried his, his cross. Right? He was mocked, ridiculed, spat upon, lied upon, scourged. It was indeed a shameful death, man. All right, and this is <laughs> this is how the you know the leader of, of the GOCC congregation. This is how the leader conducts his Passover. All right, setting a bad example, all right to their followers, and to the rest you know the rest of their congregation. All right. 
keep the feast, not with all leaven. All right? Now with the le neither, neither with the leaven of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and the truth. All right? You know, eating foods with no leaven, no raisin agents. All right? Abstaining from things like that. All right? Okay. You know, back... You know, back then, you know, the actual blood was put over the door. Okay. Okay, it was put over the doorpost. Now it's spiritual. Okay, the firstborn son of Egypt was slain by Yahweh Shaman, the death angel. You see. All right. And we hope to be <clears throat> preserved from the said perils that's going to come upon, upon the whole world, man. All right. As we celebrate the Feast of Unleavened Bread. Okay. So, you know, basically I'm going to end it there. All right. Lord willing, this lesson was edifying to the elect of the nation of Israel. With that, I say shalom to the Lord's elect.